How's it going everyone? CJ from On The Grow here and today I'm actually going to be doing a slightly different video because we've had lots of questions about how we mix our nutrients. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be mixing some nutrients with you guys today. We're going to pH balance it and then I'm going to show you how we actually bottom water into a tray. So let's get started. What you will need, first of all, what we like to do in our space is we use a three gallon bucket as a reservoir that we essentially we blend this nutrient into and then we use that to water daily as needed. So we use a three gallon, uh, you can see that this is a food safe, uh, food grade, heavy duty and BPA free. We got this one from Tractors Supply. There is a lot like this, um, you know, from different loads and stuff like that. Just the main thing is to make sure it's BPA free and that it is food grade and food safe. Usually if it's HDPE or plastic number five, polypro polypropylene, uh, then it is a food grade plastic. So. What we've done is we've also sanitized this. You wanna make sure that this is nice and clean because this is gonna be your reservoir and you don't want bacteria and stuff like that inside your reservoir. So the other things you're gonna need, you're gonna need your nutrients. For this one, we're gonna be using Ocean Solution, which is something that we use currently. It's OMRI listed for organic use and we really like this product. Uh, it does a great job. It is a liquid fertilizer and it is quite easy to use. Other things you will need is a pH balancing kit. This is a very simple manual one that I've used for years and years. Uh, it's very incredibly easy to use. Uh, the thing I dislike about the blue and orange for the pH and pH up and pH down is that they have food dye in them, so I just don't really like that personally. Uh, you can also use like lemons if you don't have access to this. Like lemons would be a pH down, uh, you know, very acidic solution. Uh, what we like to use in this space is this guy right here, which is a pH down supplement. Uh, it just does a great job, very easy to do, and adds a tiny bit of nutrients to the solution as well. Uh, last thing, if you want to get fancy, I mean, this is like a hundred dollar pH pen. It tells you your pH. Honestly, we've gotten away for years using just this little manual kit and get it close. Uh, but if you really feel the need to, you can get yourself a nice pH pen because they do work really well. Now, I also have a P PPM pen. Uh, this is something I've used for years. It just kind of tells you how much uh, particulates per million is in your uh, nutrient solution. It gives you a good idea of how strong the nutrient solution is. And lastly, uh, you'll need like a little measuring um, shot glass for uh, your nutrient solution. And we use this measuring cup to actually water. So let's go through this process now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this guy right here up with uh, some water. So I've got a water hose that actually runs over to our sink. Uh, that we use to fill up our reservoirs with. Uh, I do wanna say that we have a water filter on our sink. So if you can filter your water, do, because obviously you don't want things like chlorine and fluoride in your uh, nutrient reservoir, because uh, chlorine is actually toxic to your plants and you don't wanna be growing with fluoride and other chemicals like that. So if you can filter your water, if not tap water honestly works pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start filling this guy up and I will see you in a minute because this takes a few minutes. Okay, so we've got it pretty close to the top. I like to stop a little bit early for the reason that uh, we haven't added our nutrients yet and we haven't pH balanced this. So what I like to do is stop a little bit lower than uh, the reservoir is, add my nutrients, I'll spray it, mix it around really good, and then I will uh, stop and then I'll add, I'll pH balance it and then I'll uh, add more water and then it mix it around and it should be solid. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab our ocean solution here and our little shot glass. And this thing says, uh, Ocean Solution says for hydroponic use, put between, uh, these right here, uh, 0.5 ounces and 0.7 ounces per gallon. So what I like to do, since we're doing microgreens, I do the very minimal, which is 0.5 ounces per gallon. So here I've got my little ounce measurements on this side. So since we have a three gallon reservoir, we're gonna end up doing uh, one and a half ounces of nutrient solution. So we got one ounce and a half an ounce. What I do, I kind of mix this around a little bit here. 
I'm sterilize this guy after anyways. Just kind of mix that around, make sure all the nutrients are out of there. I'll take my water, and just to make sure this kind of gets mixed around, I usually switch it to a different kind of head. Jet. And I'll just kind of just agitate this water, mix it around, and add a little bit more water. That way I know the nutrient solution is kind of mixed around a little bit. So now, we need to get a baseline for our pH. Now what you could do if you have a pH pen, I mean it's pretty easy. Just take off your little cover. Uh, we've already calibrated ours. So we just stick it in and it'll tell us that our pH is at still climbing, still climbing. Now it looks like it's gonna be about eight or above and that seems pretty accurate because that we know that we have very uh, basic water in our grow space. Uh, so, what we'll do now is I'll show you how to test that with uh, the manual test kit. So what you do is you're going to take your little sample scooper, we're just going to fill it up about three quarters of the way here, and you're going to take your, uh, this is what you drop in to basically test, it says three to five drops to test, uh, to get an accurate test. So three, four. Let's do four. That seems like plenty. So you can see it's already dark green. I will put the little cap on this. I actually like to use my thumb. So now what you do is you'll take this and you'll compare the color to see where we're at. And that makes sense because on our pH pen, it pen, it said that we were around eight or above. It looked like it was still climbing and this agrees with that. This says it's about 8.5. So uh, you want to get rid of this water now. What I do is I take the shot glass after I've used it for the nutrient solution. I'm done with it. And I'll just pour that into there while I pH balance this. So now there's two ways of doing it. You can use your acid. So since we are 8.5, what we have to do is we have to bring this down. You want to bring your uh, nutrient solution, your water, to about 5.5 to 6.0 uh, range because that is how plants best uptake through the, the roots the nutrients. Uh, they really like that uh, semi-acidic uh, water. So if you were to use this, what you do is it comes with this little, um, don't know the term for this guy. Squirty device. Squirty device, so we're gonna call this a squirty device. I forget the t proper term for it. And then what you do is you just kind of pinch it and you would pull up a little bit of this into uh, the squirty device and then you would put some of that into here. I know I probably only need to do about a milliliter or two and it's got little measurements here and I've done this so much that I'm pretty familiar with. It's kind of hard to see. You can see it says one milliliter. Um, but I've done this so much that I'm pretty familiar with how uh, much to do. So that should be decent. I actually haven't used this one in a while, so I don't know how strong that is compared to the other one that I usually use. So what I'm going to do is just kind of mix that around a little bit, agitate it. i take this actually. Just kind of mix this around nicely. And after you added your acid, then what you do is you check it again, see where it's at. I'll show you again with the pH pin. I'll turn this on, and test it so you can see it's going down. So we're about at the 6.7 range. Yeah, is it still going down? 6.6. .6. So we're still a little bit too high. Uh, let's confirm that. So our pH pin said that we're about 6.5. Let's see where we're at with our, our manual kit. So again, same thing. I'm going to take it, fill it about three quarters of the way up. I'm going to take three to five drops. One, two, three. I like to do four. I like to cheat a little bit. I've done this for so long that I just grab the bottom, put my thumb on the top, give it a little shake. And I can see that we're actually pretty dang close to 6.0. So it makes sense that this said that we were about 6.6. .6. The colors seem pretty close. So we need to bring this down just a hair more. Oh, so it looks like we're around 5.7, which is where I wanna be. Let's double check that with our um, manual test. You can see how I get fast at this. Do it so many times. One, two, three, four drops. Yep, and I can already see that orange color really pop in there. And I know that we are now much closer to the between the orange and the light yellow. So that tells me we're between the points that I wanna be. 
All right, so now we have this pH balance and we've added our nutrients. So technically right now this is ready to go. So we can start watering with this. So I'm gonna get this stuff out of my way for just a moment. And I will show you how we would do that. So what we like to do, I mean, it kind of depends uh, on each different variety of crop. Uh, for example, like these carrots are more delicate. They don't require as much water as say, something like these radishes or these broccolis that can actually take up a ton of water while they're growing. Uh, so what we do is we take our measuring cup and usually in the beginning of growth, we'll start around the one cup range. In the morning, we'll do one cup in the morning and one cup in the evening. And what you kind of look for whenever you water that second time in the day or whenever you water every time in general is you want to lift up your tray and just kind of take a peek and see if your tray has absorbed all the water that you left or if it still has some left. Like this, we watered this morning and I can see that I don't need to add any more, more water right now. But you, what you would kind of look for is if the, dra the tray, uh, I'm kind of tilting it here so you can kind of see, if it's drier like this, then you know to add a little bit more water or less water and also pay attention to your roots. If your roots start to brown, like I can tell that we've let this uh, dry out once or twice because of how brown the uh, roots have actually gotten. Usually you want to keep the roots quite uh, nice and white like these you can see how white these are we know that they're getting sufficient water every single day throughout the day so it's just something you kind of uh, over time learn to finesse especially for each individual crop like amaranth we've learned that uh, they actually prefer to dry out just a little bit between watering so we've learned to cater our watering schedule around that and it's just something you just learned of kind of eyeball honestly so uh, getting ahead of myself how we, we, we would actually water so what we do, it's quite simple. I'm just gonna pretend because it's already pretty full. So I would fill this up to whatever the desired level was. Um, I'm gonna say one cup. And then I would lift up my tray and I would just pour that one cup into the bottom reservoir here, set it down, and that is literally it. And then you just take your tray and you'd, it'd probably be, we do it on the shelf, honestly. So I would just lift it on the edge of the, the um, shelf, pour it in, close it, and then slide it back into position. And that is essentially it. So I really enjoyed making this video for everybody and I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. I know that we've had a lot of questions around the simpler processes such as mixing nutrient solutions, pH balancing and watering. And I hope that, that this video helped to answer some of those questions. If it did not, however, please leave any additional questions in the section below and we'd love to get those answered or perhaps make a video like we did for this one. If you did enjoy this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give us a thumbs down. If you would like to subscribe, we do lots of experiments and we wanna be teaching more about how to grow microgreens, please click that subscribe button. And our Instagram is at on the growth farms. <laughs> Thank you and have a great day. Perfect.